I'm very excited to be back in front of your screen today. This is part two of cleaning out this uh, supply closet that's just overflowing here into my boy's bedroom. These are mostly school supplies that should be unearthed as we go through. In part one, I did this shelf and this shelf. And this is what I've chosen to leave and to keep for now. And it's organized by subject on these first two. I have no organization beyond those two shelves right now. I read through every single one of your comments from part one. Thank you so much. So I'm coming to the table to start part two with a bag ready for anything I'm going to donate and give away and a trash bag because uh, my piles kind of got mixed up last time. So those were great suggestions. Thank you so much. I am also going to talk about these shelves. These are wire shelves that have like the slots in the middle. These are crap shelves, but I'm renting. I'm not going to put up new shelves just because um, in this particular house. They do have shelf liners. I actually bought the shelf liner for my laundry room because these shelves are also in my laundry room. So I bought the shelf liner. Works great in there. I would do it again in here. I don't really want to spend money on shelf liners for this particular closet. Works great in my laundry room because I am in there several times a day. This I'm in here weekly or monthly. So what I'm going to do instead, someone suggested cardboard boxes. Cut cardboard boxes to fit and act as a liner. Bingo. I have those and then I can store the books vertically instead of horizontally because they won't fall through the slots on the shelves. You guys are geniuses. Keep the, keep the helpful comments coming. And also big thank you for the kindness that you are commenting with on every one of my videos and in building each other up and supporting each other with kindness in the comments and encouraging each other. I love that that has become our community here online on YouTube and on my website. I love that for all of us. So please keep that going forward. Okay, energized by reading all your comments. I took your ideas, I'm doing them. So we're gonna get into it. I can't really get to these shelves very well. I need to clear out this business. So my goal for this video is to clear out this, which is a huge amount of stuff to do. If someone asked me for my advice now, what I would say to do is to clear out the section you want to clear, right? Like completely remove it from the area and then make a decision. So uh, clear it, sort it, categorize it, declutter, then organize everything you've chosen to keep. So that is what I would give forward as advice to someone attacking this closet as a third party person. But I'm a first party person in here today party and uh i'm gonna take my own advice <laughs> as scary as this it feels right now i'm going to take everything here that's blocking the shelves i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna clear it and i'm gonna sort categorize declutter and organize from there Whew. i'm a, I, I have hesitation because it's a lot of stuff to process and make decisions on but it's going to put me forward a big leap by doing it this way. Okay. I have my giveaway bag, I have my trash bag, and I've made my uh, five-year-old son bed ready for stuff. I would not recommend completely clearing a closet section or an entire closet if you do not have the time to deal with it at that moment. Otherwise, I've just made a mess for myself tonight for my kid to sleep in his own bed if I don't finish this project. this for now. Thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. If you've been around my channel, you know that I partner with Native on a long-term basis and that I use their deodorant. My favorite deodorant of theirs is the lavender and rose. And now they have a build your own pack for body washes that includes the lavender and rose. The body wash is not made with any sulfates that are needed to make really foamy soap, 
but yet this is a foamy lathering soap. The ingredients are clean, they're effective, and they're simple. It is sulfate-free, phthalate-free, dye-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. There's a lot of choices. I received the unscented, the lavender and rose, and the Earl Grey. You can check my description box below for a link and you'll get three body washes. If you use my link and code, you'll get them for $14 instead of the normal $24. That's 40% off. So check that link in the box below. Don't miss out on their new limited edition holiday scents. Thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. I do not want to find homes for all of this stuff in here. I need to be... I need to go into this with a ruthless mindset that I am not keeping things for the sake of keeping things. I am focusing on this school year and a little bit of next school year so that I don't have to like buy what I already have. That's it. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to work this way. All right, we have, I did a loose parts bin for a little while. I'm gonna, these are donatable. I mean, it, people use clothes bins to hang clothes. So I'm gonna make the bag. Or the bag for giveaway. I don't wanna deal with that yet. Okay. This is my kid's backpack. I'm gonna throw it in that side of the closet because he uses it when he goes for sleepovers. So here is one of his karate belts, his old karate belts we were looking for. Um, he's advancing well through karate and loving it, so I'm hanging on to all of his belts and maybe make some kind of a display of accomplishments for him. Okay, this somebody Somebody turned this into dice. They wrote all over it. Okay. Just grab something else out of the closet. This goes with this. This is a place um, place value set that my oldest really liked playing with it. Um, but we use counters for different things and they watch number blocks and they got more out of watching number blocks than they ever did with this thing. So my kids wrote all over this. Can I get this clean? Oh, I can clean this. Oh, that's coming right off. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean off the marker they put on here. I'm gonna put all this in a bag. I have a bag right here. cards that came with the right start math curriculum um, I don't really need this we just use the whiteboard when we talk about place value I'm gonna pop it in here I'm gonna clean this off and I'm gonna put this in my giveaway bin for my homeschool group someone in there might be liking some manipulatives for place value for one of their kids so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway bin. Every month at the homeschool group, we set up a picnic table. Um, our homeschool group is outside and we set up one of the picnic tables to be that uh, giveaway table. Everybody puts the stuff they don't use anymore on there. People can come in, take whatever they want for free and you can get rid of your stuff for free. I, this is art supplies that we use in the art curriculum these days. So. I'm just gonna take some things out of here. This is going to be art supplies I'm currently using. Here we have, okay, so this is geography. 2021 20, Road Atlas. We actually have one in the RV as well. Landmark flashcards and then flashcards for the 50 states. I mean, it's in here, we don't use it. We have one in the RV, that is the only time we break it out. 
I'm going to donate all three of these, Road Atlas and then the flashcards. And the second I said that, that felt like the right decision. Doing great. Okay. Guide to Kenya. This came with Top Secret Adventures. It's like a highlights um, geography thing. My son loves. So um, we finished Kenya. We finished a few of them. We have a few more to go. It's part of his curriculum this year. Um, I'm going to donate this book, though, because he's done. He's all done that. Okay, this is a... This is the leftover pieces from the robot that they built, and I don't know where the robot is. This is trash. Yeah, this whole thing is recycling. I need to bring a bag for recycling. For now. Okay. These are just presentation books. Okay, so these are supplies I want to keep. Folders and presentations. So for now, I'm just going to, I'm going to put that here. Beads. These are fun with pipe cleaners. Good for fine motor skills. Here I have tea light candles, more tea light candles, more tea light candles. Why did I buy tea light candles for school? Uh, jute rope is going to be a giveaway. There's a little Paw Patrol figure. I'm going to give that to my five-year-old. Okay. All right. Make decisions. Make decisions. Be ruthless. Okay. We don't need this. It's not part of this year. It's not part of next year. It's just something fun for the kids to do. Giving it away. Tea lights. I don't know why I got these. I'm just going to give them away. Uh, these are wood tags. I probably bought for the loose parts bin. Never made it to it. I'm just going to give them away. I have no need for them. This is part of social studies curriculum. I have that up here. <laughs> That's the first thing I kept. Woo! Go me. Okay, what's this? Oh, these are Andy's Transformers from when he was a kid. Mixture of things. The kids were breaking them, and Andy was getting a little bit, like, upset about that. So it's too soon for them to have his childhood toys and, and he's not ready for them to be broken as a result of gifting it to them. So I put it away. Um, I'm going to let Andy reconsider his decision about this. And then if he's not ready to give it to the kids yet, because if they get broken, he, he'll be upset. Then we're going to find a place in our closet. Okay, we're doing great. Doing great. Okay, these are a bunch of clothespins with some jute rope. I actually use these in the house as labels. And um, we use it to display art. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to put it in my art bin that goes downstairs. Here's a book. That's my eight-year-old's book. Okay. These are acrylic markers. We used these two weeks ago. Um, I'm just going to put these in art supplies. Maybe downstairs. Uh, what are these? These are the word cards for third grade language arts. Um, Good and the Beautiful. I don't have that curriculum anymore, but these are great words for my second grader to be practicing. So I'm going to keep those, take it downstairs. Folder. That's like office supplies now. Right, here's more clothespins and rope. What is this? Oh, these are Color of the 50 States. These, these are fun when we're talking about the United States. My kids use these. We are talking about the U.S. this year. Take it downstairs. This is great. All right, what do I have in here? Old Play-Doh stuck to the container. Yeah. I'm going to throw these away. Because separating the old Play-Doh from these papers and these bags is not worth my time. Or my sanity. Trash. See, coming at this with the right mindset is the way to go. These are googly eyes. The kids love these things. 
You have to glue these on though, and they're not the sticker kind. And yeah, we might think about that one for a sec. Um, oh, these are Rebecca's fashion plates. She would love to see these come back into play. Keeping that. I'm not going to keep the googly eyes. I'm not going to keep an open package of googly eyes when we don't even have anything planned to use it. Nope. Okay. Broken, broken, broken. Where did my lid go? If I were my lid, where would I be? Did it have a lid? Maybe it didn't have a lid. Okay, now, this is just an old bin that I can use to prop books up and contain a subject. I don't wanna, I don't wanna start that yet. Okay, cotton balls we use for science experiments. I'm gonna put that over there. Everything you need to ace chemistry. My um, eight year old is super into chemistry and actually reads this book. This is a magic school bus chemistry lab that was gifted to us by a friend of a friend. All this stuff is yellowed. This stuff is yellowed. Uh, we're not going to play with old chemistry stuff. That's not a thing I'm trying to do. This is trash. Uh, actually, it's recycling. But the stuff inside here is going to be trash. There's some Pez in here. Okay, Legos. Of course. We're cruising. Okay. This is wooden numbers board. My kids play with this. And then this is Horizons Book One. I'm going to put this with math. Let's pretend this box doesn't exist for a minute. All right. This is all old paperwork from old science. I'm just going to throw it away. Math book. This is a. Um, Project-based learning kit. My, my um, eight-year-old loves project-based learning. So what to do? That's probably, it's math. I'm gonna do, um, put this with math, which is a math book. These are math books. That whole top shelf in my closet is math. This is a periodic table. Okay, my son is actually in the middle of playing with this bin. There's a puzzle he likes. He was playing with this last night. It's this puzzle that you can put together. For the periodic table, he likes that. I'm gonna keep everything in here. Um, and then I'm actually gonna tuck it in the bottom because it's not gonna be in the way. And then when he says, mommy, can I have the periodic table bin? Sure, I know exactly where it is. It's even labeled. Periodic table. Got my son's blanket pretty dirty. I'm gonna have to strip this and wash this. Okay. This box doesn't exist. This is just a random lid. Okay, this box. This is human body. Uh, everything for human body. One of the science units all three of my kids genuinely dig learning about trash and sometimes I say mom can you get the human body bin out I'm gonna keep all the things in here and just like I did with the periodic table I'm just gonna put the lid on it call it a day labeled human body yep labeled human body already This is the, okay, these are counters. My six-year-old struggles with math and we switched curriculums and finally found one that she really likes. Um, and she likes having counters, except that she, I have to kind of push her to use them. And she likes the unicorn counters. She doesn't like any of these other counters that I got out. So. I'm gonna take this one downstairs, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw away this other stuff like random beads, 
pom-poms. I'm just going to throw the stuff out that's in there and keep the containers. I just gathered loose parts. Or I went to the dollar store and bought like a bag of buttons. So I was trying to figure out how to help her learn how to count. And then when I just backed off and she watched number blocks, we found a new curriculum, um, first grade with confidence, and we do her unicorn counters and her eraser counters, and we just play with stuff and count it as math. And I say, oh, you have two cookies. How many more cookies do you need to make five? And we do that and math has started to kick in. So when you make it fun, for her, she likes learning. Now my boys love workbooks and sitting down with actual lessons. This is a done book, it's trash. You think I had a ton of coffee? No, I didn't. I'm just super hyped about this project and motivated by your comments from the last one. Okay, these are all used workbooks. Why I hang on to them. Anything that I keep for their portfolio is in their actual portfolio. This is grade two for social studies. I'm going to use next year. I pick the oldest. Whoever is okay, so my son is always the oldest. Whatever grade level he's on, I buy the family subjects for, like social studies or history or geography, if I need to buy anything, and then I tailor it backwards. So it's fit for my oldest, and then I pull stuff out for my first grader and my pre-kindergartner. For family subjects, this is all about reading, which we are currently using. Um, and the, pe the rest of these pieces are downstairs. How did they end up in here? Okay, taking that downstairs. What do I have here? This was me developing my own social studies curriculum. Ha, ha, ha. That's hilarious. Magic loss. Okay, this is giveaway. Nothing in it, nothing to keep. This is me making my own social studies curriculum. Ha, ha, ha. Here's art from last year that I can incorporate into this year. All right, so I have a couple of things to take down. Um, extra art supplies up here. These are flashcards for um, ages five and up for sight words. My daughter's doing so well at reading and she has flashcards with all about reading level one. So I'm going to give these away. Oh no, we got to go. This is a Spanish book. This is awesome. I feel so good right now. Okay. So these are the um, wooden, uh, wooden hundred board pieces. Because both of my younger two like that. Hey! Here's what I'm going to do with this bin. This bin is going to be random office, office supplies that are office slash school. Because I know I'm going to end up with a good bin. I'm not sure why I'm dreading this box. I think it's because I'm going to have a hard time with the decisions. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to talk myself about this for a minute. This has been in a box like this since... Spring, since before COVID, because we stopped. This was from our Pennsylvania co-op. That's what this box is. And that ended in March of 2020. So coming up on two years, we are four months shy of two years of this sitting in a box. Okay, I'm going to say that again. This has been in a box. All everything in here has been in this exact box for almost two years. I don't need a single thing from this box. I'm going to look through it to see any personal information, be very ruthless about what I keep in here and uh, trash or give away pretty much everything from this box. That is my goal. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. my kid made up. Okay. These are those organizers. This is just a wooden box. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna be ruthless. I'm gonna be ruthless. Okay. Okay. 
right, first off, I see <laughs> a bunch of stuff I bought for co-op for all the kids. They are maps, U.S. maps. Okay, <clears throat> these are nice folding ones. I'm keeping one and I'm giving away the rest of them. Done. Uh, landmarks writing prompts, giving away. Another wall map, giving away. These are those color map of all 50 states. I got from the dollar store years ago. I kept one and there are six in one. So I am going to, now that I just said that. <laughs> okay, now that I just said that, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm actually going to keep and use these in three days at our co-op. Um, the kids, I'm teaching a lesson on Maryland in three days to the co-op kids and I have 13 first and second graders and we're just going to color in where Maryland is and then they can do whatever they want when they take their paper home. And that's what we're going to do with these. I'm going to bring them out so they can um, find the capital of Maryland. Uh, all right, so this just became co-op. This is a blow up globe. This is just gonna get popped at co-op or in my house, so I'm gonna give it away. Trash. Doing great. This is probably all trash. Oh, stars. Okay, this is all trash. It's just miscellaneous cutouts from co-op in Pennsylvania. If you're new here, I lived in Pennsylvania a couple years ago. I, my husband was deployed to be near my parents. Here's a globe, blow up globe. just little things that we needed for co-op two years ago. Your idea to bring a trash bag to this soiree? My stapler! I have been looking for this since we moved here. I bought a new stapler. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Trash. Trash. Guys, this is just all random paper that's trash. Some staples. Oh. Old glue stick. I'm just gonna trash it because after two years, it's probably no good. the money that I'm hearing. Lego. Some money. Empty box. That's going to be repurposed as my box for recycling stuff that I have found. Indiana. Georgia. Christmas in Delaware. Okay. This is gonna go downstairs. Actually, my kid has a money jar in his room. We're just gonna make a donation. This is recycling. This is going back in the closet for art supplies. My bag for donate. Hey team, we did a great job. Check it. 
that's organized. That's periodic table, human body, office supplies. Boom. The rest of this was trash, giveaway. Should be downstairs for what we're currently discussing in school. Recycling. Or a couple of things that were put back in as I make my way through. So that's math, that's language arts, science, Bible, history, social studies, Spanish, to be determined, to be determined, to be determined. Over here, Magic Treehouse books. My oldest is currently uninterested in, but I know my other two will be. That's the next set of curriculum for language arts for my oldest. To be determined, to be determined, to be determined, to be determined. That's pretty good. Pretty good. This was a really good way to approach this project and doing it in chunks like this, this is part two, is best for my sanity, for my boy's bedroom. Um, and for my energy level, because now I'm very tired. I think part three, I'm going to finish out these three shelves. And if I can, put down the cardboard and really situate this closet to completion. I think I can do this in three parts. So, um, these are your transformers. Thanks. What's left of them? Yeah, and I, I know they started breaking them, so I put them away because it was kind of like not great for you. Okay. So, do you want them to have? Are you ready for them to have them and break them, or you want? Yeah, to these keep these are not these are not collectibles. So you're okay. none of these are originals. Are you okay with them playing with them? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Um. So that's a bag of trash and recycling. That's what you need me to do. Yeah. Do you mind? I don't mind at all. You're gonna look. <laughs> I'm not done. Ooh, hey. It's way better than it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, so far I've got math, mm -hmm. Spanish, social studies, language arts, science, Bible, and history. I still have to do these three shelves. Mm -hmm. And then I did, today I did all the junk that was mm -hmm. piled up in front. So what, what you got going on here? I don't know yet. Is that stuff that maybe was brand new oh. that might fit Jack at some point? Yes. That's, yeah, I just, yeah. That might be even too small for Jack. 14. Right Can you pull that stuff out? Sorry. No, that's Sorry. fine. These are, well, don't be because they're clothes that Jackson can wear right now. There's some of them are blankets. That's fine. I'll leave the blankets there. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, Jack can wear all of these. These are all donate. Um, Here, I found some Paw Patrol things. I'm going to give them to Jack as a present. Is everyone in there? Yeah. <laughs> That's for donate. It was sitting there. I'm glad Andy just did that. <laughs> Those are all too small for Jackie. I guess I put them there last winter. Now I have this over here for stuff that's too big for Jack. Sweet. And we got a clothes donation out of this. Beautiful. have these cards back into rotation, pulled the hundreds board down here, brought everything downstairs. She's already dove into the fashion plates and made a huge mess in here today, but she's in her artistic zone. So I tend to just give her the table and steer clear while she makes beautiful things. Thanks for watching and here's another video.